In this video on Leap Bridge Steel, we'll take a look at uh, what it takes to run the analysis and, and code checks on a tub girder bridge. So first we'll go down here to analysis and you'll notice it's pretty much ready to go. Finite element is really your only option here with tub girders. Um, the lane setup has been talked about in a previous video, but that's how you can uh, go about configuring where the trucks truck lanes will be located uh, on the structure. Uh, you can modify the multiple presence factors and then there's also the option here uh, for some settings for the finite element mesh. And on the finite element mesh settings uh, you'll notice you can set it for the deck size, uh, for the steel or the girder portion of the structure, and then you also have a tolerance value here. I'll go ahead and kick off the uh, analysis and when it gets done we'll take a look at those results. Okay, now that the uh, analysis is complete, uh, you can take a look at uh, the graphical representation of any of those results here. Uh, so you have, of course, diagram options for uh, displacement for any of the load cases here. So, for example, I can do that for uh, the, the HL93 truck. Uh, we can look at it for the fatigue load. Uh, we can look at it for just simply the self-weight of the slab or the appurtenances or, or utilities. So any of those we can look at here as such. Uh, you also have uh, shear and moment diagrams that you can look at uh, for any of the load cases or load combinations. Uh, so there's our shear, there's moment and so forth. And you also have, of course, reports. So you can come in here and review, uh, for example, node displacements or girder forces or uh, forces that are in the cross frames themselves. Uh, top flange lateral bracing forces and support reactions. Those are all uh, very simply uh, created little reports uh, that you can review at any point along the length of the girder. Again, you have those for live load as well. So your uh, distribution factors, girder forces, centrifugal forces, support reactions, uh, lane loading details, all those uh, we can take a look at in a report format as well. Should also be noted, of course, we have a full host of design code checks here. Uh, once you've run those code checks, uh, you'll probably want to, at least in the early stages, probably go check and see uh, what is under designed. So I'll go ahead and kick off that under design report. And uh, you can see the results here. And you'll notice what it's doing is it's for each POI, uh, it's calling out the article out of the code uh, that failed, uh, what the details of that code check is, and what was the resulting performance ratio. Uh, and in the case of Leap Bridge Steel, a performance ratio greater than one uh, means that it is under designed. So you can see we've got a, quite a host of uh, different. Um, things that have not quite been met here uh, as far as code checks go and we'll need to go back and address uh, during the design optimization uh, part of the process. So thank you uh, for taking a look at this uh, short video on Leap Bridge Steel Connect Edition and how to go about doing the uh, analysis and design code checks.